Solving systems using matrices. One of my students recently asked me to show him how to solve systems of equations using matrices. And this is the system he gave me, the equation 6x plus 2y equals 11 and 3x minus 8y equals 1. While I have a lot of experience solving systems of equations using matrices, it has only been with the considerable help of the graphing calculator that I've been able to do so. And here is how I would enter this system of, of equations into a 2 by 3 matrix in order to go about solving it. But having been challenged to do so without the graphing calculator, we'll set this aside. So for our first step, we place our system of, of equations into the form of a 2 by 3 matrix. Using techniques of algebraic manipulation, we will work to transform this matrix into reduced row echelon form, where we will have 1, 0, and the value of x as the top row, and 0, 1, and the value of y in the bottom row, when in this form, whatever number is where the 11 is now will be the x-coordinate and of the solution, and the number where 1 is now will be the y-coordinate of the solution. The two types of things we'll do is add or subtract rows to create a new row, and also to change the scale of a row by multiplying a row by a number to create a new row. The first thing we'll do is multiply this bottom row by 2. I will have the operations being performed at uh, the results in red to show what's being done. And that becomes the new row, 6, negative 16, and 2. For our next step, we'll take this top row of 6, 2, and 11 and subtract the newly created row of 6, negative 16, and 2. 6 minus 6 is 0. 2 minus negative 16 is 18. Getting your integer math correct is critical. And finally, 11 minus 2 is 9. Now to simplify this last row further, we'll divide all the numbers by 9 which is the same as multiplying the row by 1 9th using our rule number 2. From the rows we have already, we'll assemble a new matrix. As the top row, we now have our original bottom row of 3, negative 8, and 1. And as our new bottom row, we bring down our most recently created row in red of 0, 2, and 1. And that becomes our new matrix we're working from now. Now we'll take the bottom row and multiply by 4. This operation creates a new row of 0, 8, and 4. Now we'll take this row of 3, negative 8, and 1 and add it to this row, 0, 8, and 4. We get a new row of 3, 0, and 5. Now we'll take these two, these last two calculated rows and make a new matrix. We have as our top row 3, 0, and 5 and as our bottom row, 0, 8, and 4. We now have 0 here in the second column of the first row and also in the first column of the second row, so we're getting the matrix into shape for the reduced row echelon form. Now we'll take where we are now and move it to the right side to keep on working. We can further simplify the bottom row by dividing by 4, which is the same as multiplying by 1 fourth, so that simplifies to 0, 2, and 1. So we bring down our new matrix of 3, 0, and 5 in the top row as before, and our bottom row is 0, 2, and 1. The next thing we'll have to do is make this 3 a 1. And to do that, we'll divide the equation by 3, which is the same as multiplying by 1 third. And that gives us a new row of 1, 0, and 5 over 3. So now our top row is in perfect shape. Next, we take the second row in the matrix and divide it by 2 and that gives us a row of 0, 1, and 1 half. So now we have a second completed row of our matrix. And here's the rewritten completed matrix in reduced row echelon form. So we write out our answer as the coordinate pair 5 over 3 and 1 half. Next, we'll check our answers using the graphing calculator. We store 5 over 3 to x by pressing 5 divided by 3, then store using the STO key above the ON key, then enter. And now we store 1 half for y by pressing 1 divided by 2, then storage, then enter. Now we check the first equation by entering 6x plus 2y, press enter. We get 11. Check. 
Then we enter our second equation, 3x minus 8y, press enter, we get an answer of 1, check. This verifies that our solution of 5 over 3 comma 1 half is the correct solution, which we now box in as correct. I hope you can see from this page all the steps needed to solve this system of equations. With the same techniques, you can learn to solve systems of increasing complexity, like three variable systems, and even greater than that. Here's the system as I worked it out on paper the first time, not as clearly labeled as in the video, but using the same operations and techniques. I switched pens when my first one was running out of ink. This has been Solving Systems Using Matrices. Thanks for viewing.